Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2007, it's a Ford Focus, and we're going to be replacing the stabilizer links or sway bar links, whatever you want to call them. First thing you want to do is right in the center of the, the sway bar itself, there's a small little Allen key. You want to make sure you put your Allen key in there and that all the rust is out of it so it's a nice tight fit before you get started break this nut loose and the way you break that nut loose if you have an air gun you would use an impact gun to do it if you don't have an air gun just use a regular wrench put a wrench on it and if you give it a good push up it can snap it snaps loose and then what you do is you uh, put your wrench on here like that and you put your ratchet in the center and hold this stationary and what I normally do to keep from stripping out that, uh, that, that very small Torx or Allen, whatever is inside there, I'll usually use the wrench to make the, uh, to, to move it, to, to unscrew it. And then what you basically do is you just hold the ratchet in place and you turn the wrench and it slowly unscrews it right out until it gets to a point where it's loose enough that you can remove it by hand. And you just keep working it back and forth. If you spray it up really good with any kind of penetrating oil, it'll come right out. Right? You unscrew it like this, and your ratchet is pretty much just to hold that stationary in the center while you, uh, while you unscrew it. And you'll get to a point where it doesn't unscrew any longer, and then you just take it off, take your nut off, unscrew the nut, it comes right out. You pull your bracket out of the way, and you discard the nut because you'll be using the new one when you put it back together. Then the same as you have this Allen here or Torx right here and the nut, you'll have the same thing down in the bottom where it goes through the stabilizer bar itself. So what you want to do there is you get in there, same thing with the ratchet, down on the bottom. It's a little bit hard for you to see, so I'm going to grab this and show you what it looks like down in here. It's down on the bottom right you see right down inside on the bottom down there there's another nut right down in here that you would have to remove um, I'm gonna unscrew it I'm gonna put the camera down and I'll be right back Again, once you crack it loose, you just take the ratchet and you put it back and forth until you get to the point where you can unscrew it by hand. And then you just unscrew it. Sometimes it's really not hard to get to, it's just in, in an awkward position that you'll have to work. Once you get it out of there, you discard all of the, uh, the nuts that came off of it. You push this out, pull this out, and that's pretty much it, and you discard it. Okay, the replacements usually come with, uh, with grease fittings that can be added to it. What I do is I always put the grease fittings in first. It's a little easier putting them in now than later on when it's in the vehicle. So what you want to do now is you want to take it and catch your bottom one down where it belongs, down inside on the sway bar. And then you'll pull your... Pull your right through. And once you got them in, you just screw the nuts onto the back of it. 
screw the nut up onto the top just like this. And normally when you have the replacements, you can hold it with a, uh, with a, uh, a wrench. The, it does not have that hole in the center as it did on the older one. What you would do is you take a wrench and you put a wrench up in the back of it up underneath here and as if you'll feel it slide right onto it. You'll catch it right on there. Okay, and once you have it um, caught in there, when you, when usually the replacements, they don't have the, uh, the hole through the center here that you would uh, put your Allen key into. In the back, there's usually a, a spot for a wrench to fit onto so you can hold it with a wrench. In this particular case, it's a, uh, it's a, either a three-quarter or an 18 millimeter. And then normally you would take your air gun and you would uh, shoot it on with your air gun. Okay, and once you shoot it on with your air gun, that's pretty much what it looks like, and you'll have the grease fitting facing to the back so you can, uh, so you can grease it. Um, then you would just go down to the bottom, right down over here, and I won't do it now because i got to shoot it on with the air gun again. And basically what you do is you put your, uh, your uh, either three-quarter or your 18-millimeter wrench onto the, uh, to the air part, and you'll hold this in place like that, and then you'll go around the back over here with either your your air gun, or if you can't get in there with an air gun, you get in there with a with a ratchet or a wrench, and then you tighten it up, and once you snug it up, then you grease up this side, and that's it. You're pretty much all set. Fairly easy. All right, so that's it. You're pretty much all set then. All right, don't forget, you have to grease everything up. Make sure you lubricate upper and lower, and you'll be good to go. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.